So this is the second part of a video uh, looking at, um, at the following question where we are trying to find um, the motion of a car. So um, the sports car traveling around a 30 degree banked road having a radius of curvature of 150 meters. Um, if the car does not change height and the coefficient of static friction between the tires and the road is mu s equal to 0 0.2, determine the maximum safe speed so no slipping occurs. Neglect the size of the car, so we're going to neglect the effect of um, the car tipping around um, a point. Now what we can do here is uh, we've got a set of equations which we've worked through in the previous part of this video. Um, and here we have a relationship between the acceleration in the normal direction, uh, gravity, and the coefficient of friction. And so we're just going to continue to rearrange this equation to solve for the value of a n. So the acceleration in the normal direction here will be equal to 9.81 times uh, 0 0.2 times cosine 30 plus sine 30. We'll divide that by cosine 30 minus 0 0.2 sine 30. Alright, so we'll just enter that into a calculator over here. Um, by the way, if you own this calculator, just let me know. Uh, 9.81 times 0.2 times cosine of 30. Um, just checking that I'm in the degrees angle measurement here, so plus uh, sine 30 and then that should be divided by uh, cosine of 30 plus uh, point, uh, sorry, minus, minus 0.2 times sine of 30, close bracket. Alright, and so here we get an acceleration of 8.62 and then this leads on to trying to find out the velocity. So before uh, we had an equation which gave us an acceleration in the normal direction equal to v squared over rho. Uh, we now know two of these terms, the acceleration in the normal direction and the radius rho. So we can substitute values into here to find the velocity. So uh, we have acceleration in the normal direction of uh, 8.62. Um, this is equal to our velocity squared divided by our radius. So that was 150 as shown in the question above. All right, so we can rearrange. So V is equal to 8.62 times 150. And then we find the square root of that to find the velocity which we are looking for. So 8.621309 etc. multiplied by 150 and then the square root of that number we get 35.96 meters per second here. Um, so if we wanted this to be written in kilometers per hour uh, so we could just divide that uh, number by 3.6 so that's, oh wait, multiply, sorry, multiply by 3.6. So that's about 129.5 kilometers per hour. So that's the, the maximum speed that that vehicle can travel uh, with that given friction coefficient. Um, now this doesn't take into consideration things like um, sections where the road's friction coefficient changes or maybe there's water on the road or maybe there's a slight rise where the, um, where the geometry of the road changes suddenly. So don't go ahead and um, assume that this is the maximum value uh, for your driving on the roads. So uh, drive safe and I hope this has been um, interesting for you. Uh, thanks for watching and as always goodbye. Work hard.